Hey guys, my name is Mihir and welcome to the first ever episode of Making with Mihir. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my very own quadcopter. At the center of this quadcopter is an Arduino. And as any other quadcopter, there are electronic speed controllers and motors. Now to explain to you how all of these work together to keep the drone in the air, I have broken the whole drone down into a few parts. So, first we have the motors. Now, the motors ru uh, run the propellers and the propellers keep give thrust which keeps the drone in the sky. The motors are powered by the battery. Except the battery can't directly control the motor, therefore, to allow the motor to be controlled by the battery, we have the electronic speed controller. Now, how does the whole drone make decisions on which propellers to keep at what speed to produce ample thrust? Well, that's where the flight controller board comes in. This flight controller board is an Arduino in our case, we're making our own and we're not buying one. This flight controller board keeps check on the balance of the, the balance and the angle of the drone by checking the values that the gyroscope is feeding it and adjusts the speed of all four motors to keep the drone in the sky. It also takes inputs from an RC receiver on, wh on what the user wants the drone to do and makes according adjustments in motor speed. Now let's see how all of these integrate together. All right, so first we have our brushless motor, which has three wires coming out of it. There are obviously four of these motors connected to four of these ESCs. An ESC stands for electronic speed controller. It controls the speed of the motor according to the signal it is given by the flight controller board or the Arduino. This is what an ESC looks like. It's a 30 amp ESC I'm using for my quadcopter. Let's just, sorry, I'm just put this back. Okay, now to power the ESCs, we're going to need a powerful battery. This is the battery I'm using. It's a 2200 milliamp or 30C 3S 11.1 volt battery. If you don't know what that means, it's perfectly fine. You can just Google these. These are all just stats on the battery itself. This small lightweight battery can keep the drone in the sky for about 20 minutes. Now controlling the whole, controlling the speed of all the motors, we have the flight controller. So let's just put that back there, there. Okay, now giving the flight controller input is the MPU 6050 gyroscope. The flight controller is an Arduino right here. And the gyroscope is this. This is not an MPU 6050, it's another type of gyroscope, except I just wanted to show you what they look like. And to give, get commands from the user, we have a RC receiver that goes also into the flight controller. This is what a receiver looks like. And here you have last component, the battery. Now this, on this piece of paper, excluding three motor setups, is the basics behind, well not the basics, pretty much everything that goes behind a drone. The battery, which controls the motors through the speed controllers, the flight controller, which controls the speed controllers, the gyroscope, which keeps a check on the drone's angle at all times, and an RC receiver, which receives signals from the transmitter. That is the whole drone. Motors, ESCs, flight controller, gyroscope, and receiver I had to detach. That's all there is that goes behind a drone. Now obviously there's a ton of code running in the background that keeps the drone in the sky. I will be linking below a video series by another YouTuber who has made a great series on how to get your drone flying. I initially used his code but now I have obviously made changes to make it a little bit better. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.